show you guys the technique that I decided to use for sanding down my drywall mud. Um, I had read a lot about wet sanding using a sponge, so I got this big um, sanding sponge that has kind of a you know gritty side to it as opposed to just the soft side. I've got a bucket of water. I found that it was taking a lot more elbow grease to get some of my ridges and stuff smooth, so I was kind of disappointed in how this worked. So what I started using was actually kind of a hybrid. Instead of using just a sanding block, I was using the sanding block wet because uh, it holds water a little bit like a sponge. So I'm dipping it in my water and squeezing out most of it so it's just a little bit damp. And what I'm finding this does is not only does it sand on the edges faster than the sponge was, but it collects some of the dust so it's not quite as dusty. It's not completely dust free. And so as you go, eventually you'll start seeing some dust flying, but then you just kind of find a clean spot and keep going. So you can start to see some of the dust coming off the wall. So I'm going to flip it over and do a little bit more. I'm really just trying to feather the edge of the dried mud to the dry wall. And there's more dust coming off. So I'm going to go and just rinse it. It does take a little bit of kind of massaging in the water with your thumb to get the kind of sawdust, or I'm saying, um, the sanding kind of paste off of it. Uh, but that's sort of the technique I've been using to go over all my seams and screw holes. I have been going back with this damp sponge afterwards just to get some of the dust off. Whoops, pardon me. <laughs> because it does collect on the surface and sometimes it will, you know, fill in um, ridges and stuff that you think are smooth. So this is a good double check to make sure you just didn't miss anything. So that's what I've been doing.